Topic. Tomas and Francisco, two Portuguese friends, travel to the U.S. There was a mouse in their hotel room. Let's watch the video to see how they will handle this situation. This is your room. Shall I leave your baggage here? Yes, thanks a lot. If you need anything, you can call the front desk at any time. Okay. Ugh, are you tired? A little bit, but why speak English? We are in America. We have to use English. <laughs> Fine, but what time is it in Portugal now? Well, let's see. 8 p.m. Then we'll be sleepy this evening. Mm. Yeah, we should rest a bit now. Let's go out later. Yeah, I'm going to wash up a bit. Ah! <gasps> What's wrong, Francisco? Oh my god. Rato, rato. Where is it? In the bathroom. I just saw it. Are you sure? Sure. Let me call the front desk. Hi, I'm in room 503. Hello, how can I help you? There is a rato in our room. Pardon? What's in your room? A rato. Sorry, I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Um, I forgot that word, but it's an animal. Animal? Yes. Hold on. Our staff will come over and check it now. Okay. Hi. The front desk said there was something in your room. I'm here to check it out. Yes, it's in the bathroom. Did you see it? My friend saw it. Where is it, Francisco? I think it's hiding under a cupboard or somewhere. I can't see anything. Seems like it's scared, so it's lying still. Okay. I don't know what animal you guys are talking about, but I'll report it to the receptionist so they can sort it out. Please wait a moment. Okay. Hi. Hi, I call back to check the situation. Yes. Hi, I'm very sorry, but our staff reported that he did not see anything. Can you please try to describe what it is again? It is black and has a long tail. Oh, got it. It's Jerry. Jerry. Jerry? What Jerry? Jerry, as in Tom and Jerry, the famous cartoon. Ah, uh, is it a mouse? Yes, yes, a mouse. Really? In that case, we sincerely apologize for your bad experience with our hotel. Okay, but can you bring up a Tom to catch that Jerry? Don't worry, I will arrange another room for you if it's okay for you. It's a bit inconvenient because I've already taken out my stuff. We are very sorry for causing this inconvenience. How about this? I'll upgrade a better room for you. Is it okay? How much does it cost? We will keep the same price as your room now with a small discount as compensation. That's fine, then. Yes, so please prepare your luggage. Our staff will help you to move to the new room. Okay, please come in 10 minutes. Okay, if you want to ask for anything, please call the front desk. Yes, thank you. Francisco, put your things in the luggage. We'll move to another room. Changing room? Well, she told me she will arrange a higher class room at no extra cost, and even with a discount as compensation. 
great. Let me put my stuff back quick. Take your time. I asked them to come in 10 minutes. Okay. The Garden. Situation one. Miley invites her old friend Katie to her new house. Katie is impressed by Miley's beautiful flower garden. Hi Katie, come in. Long time no see. Hi Miley, thank you for inviting me over. How are you? I'm great. I just quit my job to stay home to take care of my house and my kids. That's great. Your house is so lovely. Come on, let me show you around. This is my kitchen and my room, and the children's rooms are upstairs. And this is my garden. Oh, wow. It's amazing. Did you plant it all by yourself? With a little help from my husband. I like gardening. It helps me relax. Look at all these flowers and bushes. I bought the seeds online and I learned how to fertilize it from my books. Wow, you're so good at gardening. What's their names? These are the snapdragons. They bloom heavily and stand up in the often harsh weather in spring and fall. And they bring butterflies to my garden. Wow, I like butterflies. Are they hard to plant? No, these plants are for beginner's garden. Like these daffodils. Plant daffodil bulbs and stand back. They'll burst into bloom each spring, filling your garden with color and fragrance. Look at the bright colors. Are they daisies? No, they look like daisies, but these are cosmos. These annuals are so undemanding. They'll bloom even in poor soils. That's great. Maybe I can try to plant them at home. But I live in an apartment. I can only hang some flower baskets. You can totally do it. It's so easy. These begonias are tough and great for hanging baskets, containers, or garden beds. Give them sun or shade and they'll reward you with lots of lush colors. Great. I can brighten up my balcony. But where did you buy the seeds? You can take these pots and hang them. I planted it a while ago and you can take care of it for me. Thank you so much, Miley. And I will cut you some flowers for you to bring home and decorate your house. Do you like these peonies? Oh, they are to die for. Who doesn't like them? People think these peonies are hard to grow, but all they need is a good organic mulch. They grow well over a wide range of climates and feature stunning foliage, giant blooms, and are available in many colors. What is this wonderful smell? It smells like lavender, but I thought lavender would be only in the UK. You're right, it's the lavender. My husband bought these seeds when he traveled to England last year. Do these lavenders survive in our climate? Yes, they are tough and they only need well-drained, sunny soil. It flowers for a long time, but its fragrant foliage is also delightful. I used dry petals to make lavender candles. I will give you one as a gift and you can try to light it up in your bedroom to relax. Thank you for all of these wonderful gifts. But it's getting late. I have to go home now. But another time soon we can go have a cup of coffee? Sure, Katie. Just call me. Okay, bye. See you later. See ya. Situation 2. Mary wants to start gardening, so she goes to the shop to buy seeds and tools. The shop staff, Derek, recommends her all the seeds and tools that she needs. Hi, welcome to my little garden. I'm Derek. What can I help you with? Hi, 
I want to start planting flowers in my backyard, and I don't know what to start with. I'm here to help you. I have customers come here every day asking that same question. And lucky for you, I have all the seeds that are suitable for beginners and all the equipment for you to start planting on your own. Oh, great. You are my lifesaver. <laughs> Thanks. So how big is your garden? Do you like flowers with fragrance or what color do you want? My garden is pretty big. It has sunny spots and shady spots too. I like flowers with fragrance, especially kinds that attract butterflies or birds. And I like every kind of color. I want my garden to be diverse. Wonderful. I have these sunflower seeds. This plant is forever famous, especially with children. The blooms are in the deep dark brown color of a chocolate bar and highlighted with yellow tips. Their seeds attract birds. Oh, wow. I like sunflowers. I will have some of that. And do you have daisy seeds? No, I just ran out of those. But these zinnia seeds are daisy-like. They come in almost every color. You can just plant them in the sun and space them as directed on the seed packet or label. Good air circulation helps prevent disease. Great, I will have that too. I want something that grows all year round. I want my garden to be beautiful all the time. Uh, we have the um, pelargonium grown as annuals, popular for its brilliant red and orange, as well as white flowers and tolerance to heat and drought, ideal for the hottest spots. I have such perfect sunny spots for them. I will take it, thanks. Do you need anything else? These begonia seeds are some of the most varied and useful tender garden plants. They are one of our best sellers. Okay, I will try those too. And do you recommend any good garden tools? You should start with the essentials and stay focused on the basics so you can keep your shed or storage area from becoming overcrowded. I have a limited budget, so I want to buy the best quality tools that my budget allows and maintain them. Say no more. I have all the basic tools that you need. Start with this quality yet affordable water resistant breathable fit glove. Then these cutting tools, pruning shears, and loppers make cutting through thicker and harder branches easier. Great! I will need those. And I have a shovel at home, but I need a short shovel for digging holes. This short-handled square shovel is garden workhorses. It can be more on the pricey side, but a good spade will last for the rest of your gardening life. Yes, and this stainless steel head is strong and won't rust. I will have this too. Do you own any watering wand or can? No, I don't. Should I buy a watering can or wand? Watering wands come in a variety of lengths. The extended reach is also helpful to get to out-of-the-way containers, hanging plants, or the back edges of borders. And a can is easier to carry, but won't last as long. I will have a watering wand, please. Wonderful choice. I think you're all set. You can start planting seeds and just come back here whenever you have anything else. Thank you. I'm so excited to start my own garden. Yes. Call me if you have any questions. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. Um.